Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another makeup tutorial. So this video has been requested so much and you guys have been requesting it for a while and I'm sorry that I'm just putting it out but I have so many videos that I want to film for you guys in so little time. This is literally what I wear when I'm too lazy to wear eyeshadow or I just don't know what to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Okay, so I already have my face moisturized, so I'm going to move on to the first step, which is priming my face. The one that I've been loving so much is the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. This stuff is really good if you have oily skin because it just really controls it. You do have to work really fast with this and really apply just a small amount because I have noticed that when I apply too much, it almost crumbles on my skin. Very, very strange. So I'm only going to apply this to the areas where I tend to get oily, which is my T-zone area. Now the foundation that I've been wearing a ton now that summer is here is the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation in F300. I got this a few months ago, but it now matches my skin pretty much perfectly because I'm a little bit more tan. So I'm going to apply this because I really like the coverage. It's very light to medium coverage. You can definitely build it up and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin and it doesn't make me look cakey. So I'm going to apply this with a sculptor brush from Beauty Junkies from Amazon. And then I'm gonna blend it in with my beauty blender. Now I'm gonna move on to the concealer that I've been loving so much this month. Um, I've had this for a while and I'm actually running out of it. It is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect Plus Radiant Glow. This is obviously a concealer in the color medium. So I'm going to apply that to underneath my eye. I'm going to take that to the chin, the center of my forehead, and then down the bridge of Zeno's. Now I want to mix in a little bit of my Kevin Aquan Sensual Enhancer Concealer because I love these but they're very, very, very heavy. So just a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to take SX06 which is the lighter one and I'm going to apply literally, literally like that much because it is so heavy. Now to set underneath my eyes, I usually don't like to bake on an everyday basis. So I'm going to take the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just going to quickly set that underneath my eyes. Make sure to blend out, you know, any creasiness that you may have gotten from your concealer because then you are going to be setting, you know, like your powder on your creases or your crease you don't want that. And then with whatever I have left from that powder, I'm going to take this big brush and I'm going to set my whole entire face with that RCMA powder. I am going to take a little bit of my Tarte Creamy Powder and this is in fair lights because I do want to make my nose look a little bit smaller even though I'm not doing anything glamorous. I'm going to apply some with my Beauty Blender and I'm going to set the sides of my nose. I'm going to leave this for a second. I'm going to bronze up my skin using this Sigma bronzer and this one's called In the Saddle. And I've been loving this powder so much. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and warm up my face. And then of course you want to blend everything out. This is the Luxie 508 Dual Fiber Stippling Brush. I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to take this Ofra Press Powder for oil control and I'm going to apply that with the same brush that I used earlier and just a little bit and I'm just going to set it in the areas where I tend to get oily just to avoid any oil peeking through even though we did use a mattifying primer. So the days that I don't do anything to my eyes, I like to go a little bit extra with my blush. I'm taking the Makeup Geek XOXO blush and I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. So at this point, I feel pretty um, powdery. So I do like to take the Pixi by Petra Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. I'm just going to apply that all over my face. 
While that is still a little bit wet, I'm going to go in with my Luxie Beauty highlighters. These are metallic highlighters. They are new. I'm not sure if they're released yet. She sent them to me. Um, but I'm going to be taking this one right here, which is Creme de la Creme. And these highlighters are intense, yo. Just look at this. That is a little bit, okay? I'm barely dabbing my brush because these bitches are intense. For my eyebrows, I'm going to take this ColourPop pencil in the color Black Brown. And I'm going to just fast forward this because I have done an updated brow tutorial. I will have that link down below if you guys are interested in watching how I do my brows. Now that we have our brows on, I'm going to move on to eyeliner. Now again, because I don't wear any eyeshadow, I like to go extra. This is the point of this video, being extra. I like to go extra with my eyeliner. This is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Black. I swear by this, I live by this, I breathe this, I don't eat this, but I love it so much. So I'm going to start off by drawing a pretty thick wing and then we are going to move on to falsies, which is optional, but for me, it's a must because your girl ain't got no lashes. Now for lashes, I'm going to be using these by the brand Coco Lashes. These are from LadyMoss.com and these are the Goddess Lashes. These are super popular because they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to apply a little bit of my Ardell Lash Grip Adhesive Glue. Just a thin layer and then I'm going to pop these babies in. I'm just going to give my lashes a quick curl and I'm going to apply some mascara as well. Just so the real lashes and, or my real lashes and the fake lashes can really just blend together. The one that I've been loving a lot this month is the Revlon, Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. It's the one with the red little cap. And I'm just going to give my top lashes a generous coat. Now for the eyes, I'm going to apply a white eyeliner. This is the Rocker Chic Velvet Touch Waterproof Gel Eyeliner by JCat. And this is in the color 101 Show Goes On. And this will just really make my eyes look really big. Not that I need it because I have big eyes. And then to finish off my eyes, I'm going to apply a ton of mascara. Again, the Revlon is just my obsession right now. So I'm just really going to pack it on because I really want my lower lashes to be super long. Now for my lips, I'm going to show you my favorite combination at the moment. I take the Italia Deluxe Ultra Fine Lip Liner in brown and I just line my lips. And then I go in with Bieber by ColourPop and it just makes the perfect nudish brown everyday color lipstick color. Okay guys, so this is it. This is my everyday go-to makeup look. Obviously, I don't do this every day. When I mean every day, it's just kind of like my go-to makeup look. So maybe that's what I am going to title it. My go-to makeup look, my everyday makeup look. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any more requests, please leave them down below in the comment section. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and just become a part of my family. I love you guys so, so much and until next time, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye!